Ms. Laila S. Chujari, she will be reading an excerpt from the novel, The Sea Speaks His Name. And this excerpt deals with darkness, death, faith, resistance, and power of humanity to overcome all obstacles. The protagonist is in the heart of the sea, waiting for the light to come. การต่อต้านและพลังของมนุษยชาติที่จะเอาชนะอุปสรรคทั้งปวงตัวเอกของเรื่องเนี่ยอยู่กลางทะเลรอคอยแสงสว่าง So Miss Laila Shudari may I call upon you to entertain us with your reading Thank you Thank you very much uh, Good afternoon I'm Laila Hudori from Indonesia I'm going to read an excerpt of uh, my novel is a story of a group of Indonesian students and activists who were kidnapped uh, during the Indonesian upheaval in 1998. And this was believed to be one of the many, many, many factors uh, during the resignation of the uh, president. Um, the story that I will read is at the end of the novel. It's where the protagonist under the sea spoke to all of us what happened to him and his friends. Di hadapan laut di bawah matahari, asmara adikku. Saat ini aku berada di perut laut menunggu cahaya datang. Ini sebuah kematian yang tidak sederhana, terlalu banyak kegelapan, terlalu penuh dengan kesedihan. Kegelapan yang ku maksud adalah kau tak tahu aku berada di sini dan mencari-cari di mana aku berada. Karena itu bayangkan saja namaku laut, di sanalah tempatku. Di dasar yang gelap, sunyi, diam, dan tanpa suara. Menurut sang penyair, kita jangan takut pada gelap. Gelap adalah bagian dari kehidupan kita sehari-hari. Pada setiap gelap ada terang, meski hanya secercah, meski hanya di ujung lorong. Demikian ujarnya. Tapi jangan kita tenggelam pada kekelaman. Kelam adalah lambang kepahitan, keputus asaan, dan rasa sia-sia. Jangan pernah membiarkan kekelaman menguasai kita, apalagi menguasai Indonesia. Di belangguan aku hampir saja mencapai titik kekelaman. Aku menyangka peristiwa belangguan akan mematikan aku sebagai seorang mahasiswa yang percaya pada perubahan yang lebih baik. Aku menyangka pengalaman pertamaku dengan siksaan yang begitu berat akan membungkamkanku dan menjadikan aku seonggok tubuh yang apatis. Tetapi Kinan dan Anjani adalah dua perempuan yang mengembalikan kepercayaanku kepada kekuatan cita-cita. Kepada kekuatan kemanusiaan untuk bertahan dari segala aniaya, hujaman, khianat, dan cerca. Masih ada kebaikan yang tumbuh dan hidup di dalam gelap. Adapun kesedihan yang kumaksud, karena kita tak akan bisa lagi bersama-sama, paling tidak untuk waktu yang lama. Now I'm going to read the English translation by John McLean. Uh, the Sea Speaks His Name, and is published by uh, Penguin Random House Sea, uh, Southeast Asia. Before the sea beneath the sun, my dear sister Asmara, at this moment, I'm in the heart of the sea waiting for the light to come. Mine was not a simple death. There was far too much darkness, far too much sadness. The darkness I refer to come from you from you not knowing where I am and you're having to look for me. So think of my name, Biru Laut, or the Blue Sea, and that is where you will find me. At its dark base where there is silence, stillness, and no sound, the poet said that we should not be afraid of the dark, that darkness is a part of daily life, and that in darkness, there will be always be a speck, a glint, or a glimmer of light, even if only at the end of a very long tunnel. Never permit yourself to drown in that darkness, he also said. Darkness is a sign of bitterness, hopelessness, and uselessness. Never allow darkness to overcome, much less to rule this country of ours. 
I thought that the incident in Blangwan might be the end of me as a student who believe in change of for the better. I thought first experience of mine with torture, which was almost unbearable for me, might silence me and transform my idealism to apathy. But then two women, Kinan and Anjani, restored my faith in the strength of ideals and the power of humanity to overcome all kinds of torture, abuse, betrayal, and abasement. That good can still live even in darkness. As for my sadness, what I mean is not being able to be together, at least not for a very long time to come. Even so, I'm sure that you will always be able to hear my voice, my resistance. Thank you.